First, let's take a look at the many different websites that are available for listening for English as a Foreign Language students. Hi, this is Saku. In this segment, I'll be showing you three websites that you can use for listening activities in your classroom. They are ESL Lab, ESL Lounge, and many things. Let's start with ESL Lab. ESL Lab is an internet site that is focused on providing free listening materials. In this general listening quizzes section here, you can see that the materials are categorized by difficulty level, so they can be used in a variety of classrooms. Let's take a look at this medium difficulty level audio career search. This is the basic format for all of the activities. It starts with a pre-listening exercise that has discussion questions that you can use for small group discussions at the start of class. Next is the main listening exercise where students will listen to the embedded audio file and answer the multiple choice questions that follow. A great thing about this exercise is that it's automatically graded and students can get immediate feedback, which means that you might be able to assign this as homework or as out-of-class practice. Over here is also a link to the transcript for this audio file, which students can either use while they listen to it the first time, or they can use it during a second listen. If anything, they can use it for vocabulary practice because the transcripts are glossed. After that, there are also vocabulary activities, post-listening exercises, and even online investigations. Let's move on to ESL Lounge, which, like ESL Lab, gives you ideas for listening activities in a classroom. Unlike ESL Lab, though, not all of the materials on here are free. One free resource on here that I like is Songs, found here under Other Materials. Here they provide you with some songs that you can listen to, along with a healthy list of activity ideas. Because these songs are older, your students might not be as engaged with them. One suggestion is to look for your own songs and use ESL Lounge just for the activity ideas. You might even ask your students to suggest songs that they like. Of course, you'll have to then screen those songs to ensure appropriateness. Finally, we have many things. As its name suggests, this website has many things. It has resources for all of the different English skills. Let's take a look at the listening section. This website is particularly useful for EFL teachers because it provides audio files with different English accents. There are audio files with extemporaneous speech, which provides good, authentic input. There are also audio files that are just recorded readings, like this one here that has spoken passages of Wikipedia entries. All of these audio files are accompanied by transcripts. Although ESL Lab, ESL Lounge, and many things are separate websites, what I like to do is to mix and match among them. Depending on the lesson I'm doing, I might take an audio file from many things and create activities for it by using ideas from ESL Lab. There is a wealth of listening materials on the internet which teachers can use either in class for lessons or they can use it to provide students with materials that they can use for listening practice outside of class. The best part is that a lot of these materials are completely free of charge.